That's up 518 here and I have a kind of short video uh, I finally have all the lights and everything installed on the truck with the exception of the light bar up top uh, because well that's expensive and I don't have the money for it yet but it's dark outside and it's my weekend um, so I was thinking before the sun rises in like I don't know an hour and a half of driving over and uh, hitting up some forest service roads just kind of like zipping around hitting the lights on and playing a little bit so I don't know how much of a video this is gonna be. It's gonna be me kind of driving through the woods with some lights on, but uh, if you guys like that kind of thing, then stick around, should be pretty cool. So, let's do it. It's a cool looking truck, Underglow. Well, I would say that it's uh, coming up on sunrise, so may end up having to do the nighttime stuff tomorrow. But either way, let me turn all my lights on. So here's high beams and the 20-inch uh, center and the ditch light, or the dust lights that I have on the bumper. And there are my uh, ditch lights. So pretty. It looks good. Like if I turn off my regular headlights, if I turn off my regular headlights and just run with these, you know, it only does so much for you, right? I don't know. It's still pretty damn good. I like it a lot. I'm gonna just have some fun on some little side roads and we'll see where that goes. One thing I would like to say, guys, um, I've already stated that these lights are incredible, right? They're bright, um, they, they look good, they look future as hell. If I were to do it again, I would probably get the combo for the 20, just to give me a little bit more room to swing the BA light, the four, the BA fours out uh, a little bit more, and then push the ditch lights out a little bit more, because um, I was hoping for a little bit more light showing up to the left of my A pillar on the driver's side, obviously passenger side really doesn't matter, but on the driver's side, I wanted to see a little bit more light showing up on the side of the A-pillar there, um, which I can't do if I want a full spread, so I don't know. I didn't just go into it completely blind, you know, I watched a crap ton of videos on a bunch of different light companies, and Heretic is what I ended up going with, along with the, you know, I made an educated decision based on what I knew, and uh, here I am, so I'm, I'm letting you know what my opinion is now. Anyways, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. You know, there's really not much else to do or talk about, I don't think. Um, I will get an update out as I 
use these lights. Um, I am filming this. It is March currently, and you know this video is probably not going to come out until September or October. Um, so I will be getting an update video probably filmed and posted at some point in the next couple of months uh, on the October standpoint uh, for you guys to be able to see my you know like six month ish viewpoint of having the lights and getting some use out of them um, on the trail and then of course there's gonna be like the trail run videos and all that sort of stuff that you guys are gonna be able to see but anyways uh, yeah I am backing into my driveway so I hope you have enjoyed if you have please drop a like and a subscribe give me the good feels um, and come back the next time that I have another video obviously because you know I want to be able to get out that good content to you guys and the best way uh, and easiest way that I can do that is if I know that you guys uh, are enjoying it. Turn these lights on. Oh my God, now you can see me. Hey, red lights, they're freaking cool. Uh, Miso Customs, if you didn't catch that video, I uh, installed LEDs inside of the car. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know. Hit a like and a subscribe, come back. Appreciate it for uh, hanging with me. But with that, see you next time. Midnight sign out.